mild third graders. As we have learned in previous weeks, plants and animals have adaptations that help them survive in the biomes where they live. Today's lesson is about the two types of adaptations that plants and animals have. Let's begin. One type of adaptation is structural adaptations. Another name for this type of adaptation is physical adaptations because they are physical changes in characteristics that animals have to help them survive in their habitat. For example, giraffes have long necks which help them reach tall trees that are found in the grassland biomes. Another example of a structural adaptation is a bad smelling spray that skunks release from their bodies when they feel threatened by predators. To stay warm in the tundra biome, many animals such as the musk ox have thick fur to keep warm. This is also an example of a structural adaptation. Thicker leaves of desert plants are also a structural adaptation because it is a physical characteristic that helps them store water to use when it is scarce. The second type of adaptation is behavioral adaptations. Like the name suggests, this type of adaptation has to do with how an animal behaves in certain situations in order to survive in their biome. An example of a behavioral adaptation is that of an oxpecker bird that lives in the grassland biome. They perch or stand on the backs of large animals to eat the lice and ticks that live on them, such as rhinos. Another example of a behavioral adaptation is that of the white-tailed antelope squirrel that lives in the hot desert biome. They live in underground burrows to stay cool and avoid the hot desert sun. Plant and animal adaptations serve different purposes. Some structural and behavioral adaptations are designed to protect organisms from the weather conditions of the biome in which they live. For example, plants found in the tundra go very short. This is a structural adaptation that protects them from the strong wind conditions. Another adaptation for weather is the ability of rattlesnakes to save water on their tough scales. This is a great structural adaptation to have when there is very little rainfall. Another purpose of adaptations is to protect them from predators. An example of this is when an animal's fur changes color in order to blend in with their surroundings. This structural adaptation helps them camouflage from predators. In the tundra biome, adult musk oxen don't have many predators. However, their young are much smaller and need protection. A behavioral adaptation that an adult oxen have is that they stand in a circle around their young in order to protect them from predators. In the desert, barrel cactus have long, sharp spines that keep animals from nesting on them or eating them. Adaptations are not only useful for protection, they are also used to hunt prey for food. For example, spider webs are an adaptation to help spiders catch their prey. The color of the lion's fur helps them blend in with their surroundings so they can hide from and surprise their prey. They also have sharp teeth and claws that make it easier for them to kill and eat their prey. The fastest animal in the world, the cheetah, has strong and agile legs. These adaptations help them catch prey very quickly and easily. Overall, adaptations were built to help plants and animals survive in their biome, whether it's protection from weather and predators or to find food. These structural and behavioral adaptations can be found in all the biomes of the world.